Loretta Riches here from runforfit.com and today I'm going to be talking to you about why new barefoot runners sustain a plantar fascia injury. So when you run barefoot, you also run forefoot and running forefoot stretches the plantar fascia in a good way and this allows for maximum elastic energy storage. But this stretching often spurs plantar fascia injury in barefoot running beginners. In shod heel strike runners, so runners who wear shoes, the plantar fascia does stretch, but it stretches to a lesser extent, which results in less elastic energy storage, and therefore the natural spring behavior of the plantar fascia is often dysfunctional or um, more compromised when you wear uh, arch-supportive running shoes. Luckily, because of its scientific backing, barefoot running is gaining recognition as one of the most useful tactics of strengthening the plantar fascia to avoid injury. But there's another reason plantar fascia injury in barefoot running beginners is caused partly because the plantar fascia is playing a more active role in transferring elastic strain energy between certain areas of the foot to allow for better spring during the propulsive phase of running. When you're running barefoot, the plantar fascia is essentially fully awake and functions more like a spring as compared with running in supportive, arch supportive running shoes, where the plantar fascia spring activity is almost dormant. And a new study, and I'll link it below, has found a new role that the plantar fascia plays in barefoot running and that is the plantar fascia was identified as a key energy transfer mechanism between energy absorbing and producing structures of the feet. So the study found that during the stance phase of barefoot running, the energy absorbed by the, the metatarsal phalangeal joint, which absorbs around 11% of the total mechanical energy of the lower leg, this energy was transferred by the plantar fascia between the MP joint and the recoiling arch. So this is how the plantar fascia aided in more positive power generation. Basically in barefoot running, the plantar fascia seems to be somewhat of a backbone of the spring behavior of the foot. In the same study, the researchers postulated two important benefits of the energy transfer mechanism of the plantar fascia during barefoot running. So the first benefit was that the plantar fascia during the stance phase of barefoot running provided additional energy to the MP joint and the um, arch to aid in for propulsion with greater efficiency. The second added benefit of the plantar fascia acting as an energy absorption transfer mechanism is that this actually protects the plantar fascia from strain injury because the power from the plantar fascia that is transferred to the arch is not entirely dependent on passive energy. This action of the plantar fascia was not observed in arch support shod running, so basically runners who wore running shoes with arch support. This suggests that running barefoot allows the plantar fascia to act more as an energy transfer mediator as compared with running in shoes where the plantar fascia function is a lot more restricted. This is why making the switch from shod to barefoot running may result in achy plantar fascia simply because the plantar fascia is more engaged as it should be as a spring energy absorber mediator. So if you are new to barefoot running and suffer from plantar fasciitis, don't worry because the pain is very temporary and it will disappear with more barefoot experience basically as soon as the structure adapts. So that's one of the reasons why the plantar fascia is very sensitive to injury when you first start learning barefoot running. So be sure to check out more of the health benefits of barefoot running at my blog, runforfoot.com. And thanks for watching and listening and have fun out there on the roads. Bye.